We have the pleasure of having here today Janice Gates. Well, I fell in love with yoga and then I fell out of love with yoga. <laughs> what happened? Why is there this split between the lineage and the tradition and what's actually happening today, which is lots and lots of women coming to yoga more all the time? It's very possible and likely, actually, that yoga originally arose out of a culture that was very much into the feminine. We don't know for sure. Um, but what happened was, at a certain time, that civilization kind of went through changes and the feminine principle went underground. And the feminine principle is really lacking in our culture. But there's kind of a worshiping of an external idealized feminine mm. rather than an actual connecting to and relating to the feminine principle. And I think what women have brought to the practice of yoga is this more intuitive, um, organic way of working with the practice that's more about getting to know yourself and opening to your emotions and other aspects and other dimensions, not just the physical structural practice. Mm -hmm. And in a way, we are used to seeing a yogi, uh, who is of course a woman, she's pretty, uh, she's slim, she's healthy, she's probably rich, she has some fancy clothes, <laughs> and uh, she definitely has a sticky mat stuck under her armpit. Now, this is an, another model. Yeah. And uh, what would be your advice, or what do you think is needed for women to break through this model? Yeah, well, I think it's part of our culture to commercialize things, you know, to commercialize them, to sexualize them, to make them something that we want to become, something we want to buy, something, you know, we, we commercialize them. So that's definitely happened with the, with the whole yoga scene. The kind of the way back home is through our own practice, mm -hmm. that the more we can come back to what is our motivation, what's our inspiration, why are we doing the practice, what's our intention? And when we come back to that, we tap back into that feminine principle, that intuitive wisdom. We kind of come full circle and unearth that again, because again, it's, it sort of gets pressed underground by the culture, the norms and the mm. streams of the doing and the conditioning around materialism and again, sort of sexualizing it so that it becomes something that's sexy. Mm -hmm. Janice is the founding director of the Yoga Garden, a popular yoga studio in San Anselmo, California. She also served as a vice president for the International Association of Yoga Therapists. And she wrote this great book, Yogini, The Power of Women, with a foreword by Linda Sparrow and published by Mandala Publishing.